Okay, <laughs> right on. How's it going, YouTube? I'm Dustin Cormier. You guys are watching How to Rock a Campfire. <clears throat> Today's episode is going to be on a classic uh, Canadian content. Um, we're going to play Down by the River by Neil Young. Uh, I love this song. I love Neil Young. You know, one of my favorite artists, uh, one of my favorite musicians, excellent lyricist. Um, yeah, so this is Down by the River, a classic 60s tune. Um, <clears throat> oh, so I'm going to show you guys how to play this song, and then at the end, as a special guest appearance, I'm going to play the song with my band, the Goombas, uh, minus our drummer. <clears throat> and yeah, I hope you guys dig it. So the song starts off in the E minor 7th chord, okay? I usually like to play my E minor 7th with my 2nd and 3rd finger, and then have my pinky go on the 3rd fret of the B string to make that 7th, right? <clears throat> Uh, now this song has a very sort of a specific kind of strum and I'm going to show it to you right now. Uh, it's very Neil Young. He's all about the feeling of like the strum, you know, the groovy, grungy strum. And what it is is basically like so. Okay, so you'll notice that um, <clears throat> for for the for the layman, I'm just playing E minor, you know. Uh, and you could just barrel through this song. Be on my side, I'll be on your side, baby. But I, you know, as musicians, we like to play with a little bit of color, right? A little bit of. It's not just about the song, rather. It's the sound, you know. So when we're doing that E minor. What I like to do is you start off with like a heavy inflection on the lower notes, which is bum bum. Okay, so you go, um, it's usually up down, down, chucka, chucka, bound, bound, chucka, chucka, bound, down, chucka, chucka, down, down, chucka, chucka, down, down, chucka, chucka, down, down, chucka. Uh, and that's pretty much the beat, but there's one thing that I'd like to mention so that you can kind of get exactly what I'm doing. When I go down, down, I'm hitting, I'm trying to focus my, the flack of my strum uh, just on the lowest four strings, E, A, D, and G, right? Down, down, and then on the higher notes is when I, uh, on, on the upstrokes is when I go to those higher notes, the G, the B, and the E. So it's lower first, and then, and then down, down, middle, right? Down, down, chuck, chuck, good. Low, low, high, low, high, low, low, high, 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 like that. You guys know what I'm talking about. So that's that Neil Youngy grungy sort of strum that I'm getting at. So um, now you could play it without the main riff that they do in there, but I would suggest obviously learning it with this main riff. Um, you start off with the E minor, and you go to the A. Now when you, uh, on the third beat of this A, you slide up with your third finger, depending on which fingers you're using. I like to play my A chords with my last three fingers. You slide up with your third finger from the second fret to the fourth fret of the G string. Then you hit the third fret of the B string to hit that high D up there. Bam, bam, bam. And then uh, after you hit that note, you use your third finger to hit the fourth fret of the G string, slide that, uh, pull that off to the second fret of the G string uh, with your first finger, and then you pull that off just by pulling it off to the open chord, right? So after you do that first riff, uh, the, the second time you do uh, the chords to the E minor to the A, uh, you do a special little thing where it goes to the A, and you'll hear what I mean when I do it. Right here. that little down, 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 right before you go into the A chord, right? So that's pretty much the main riff, and you can keep that going throughout the whole thing until you get to the C part. Be on my side, I'll be on your side, baby. Together we can get away. Be 
Obviously, uh, from the C to the B minor, blah blah blah. C again. She could drag me over the rainbow, send me away. And that's when we come back into the chorus. So that's G, D, and A. You guys know the chorus. Something like that I'm trying to show off. <laughs> but, um, <clears throat> so that's pretty much your chorus part. Remember that you only do the chorus three times. The G to the D to the D to the A. You only do that three times. And then on the third time, you cut it off short. Usually you would go four times in most songs that you'd think, but Neil Young likes to keep it short, snazzy, and swift. Um, and so that's why after that third time, down by And now, so I'm, uh, I'm kind of like an artist, and I, my thing is tension and then release. You know, that's really, it's, a, it's just like the breath of life. You breathe in, you breathe out, intensity comes and it goes, it's the wave, it's the psychedelic wave of life. And psychedelic musicians who are, in, who are smart and are onto this thing know how to incite tension and release. And Neil Young did this in this song by uh, coming into this very strong, expressive chorus, right? Right, and that's all very pumpy and muscly. And then he cuts it right off and just makes it so, ah! That, like, the tension is instantly released, and it's like that, oh, that's what I was looking for, right? Down by the river, I shot her trying to solo and not doing it, but anyway, so that's pretty much how you play the whole song, guys. I hope you guys dug that, and I hope you guys dig me and my band, the Goombas, playing that song for you guys right here. Enjoy. H-N-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-
very much, guys. We are the Goombas for How to Rock Campfire. See you guys next week. Got the juice for it. I think she's got the juice. Got enough orange in that juice box.